basically said the Chili Peppers had no plans. In fact, he was quite... That's good to hear. Yeah. We... <laughs> We have avoided so uh, probably the best karma that we've created for ourselves as Chickafoot is that we have never put pressure on anyone to not do their thing. Like when we first tried to get together, Joe was out touring, and I, you know, I burned some candles and had some, you know, some mojo and stuff. I tried to put on, and and, and his bass player <laughs> yes. got sick, but then he got well again. You know, that was and, him. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, we we have not done that. We said nope. It, when it's right, it's going to be right. If it's going to be right, it's going to be right. And then Chad came and told us recently that John kind of felt that way, that there weren't any plans. They had made a few things. But uh, seriously, the best thing about this band is that there is nobody has pressure. And we're just rolling the dice. It's almost like we're looking you know, for the uh, the belief of the divine intervention here. If this thing's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. And musically, it friggin' happened like a mother, man, like beyond anybody's expectations. Uh, we're hoping that it just keeps going like this. I mean, I can't see anyone wanting to go back and do what they were doing previously without going out and playing with this band. I know, I don't. We have to. Do I know, I don't. don't. Yeah. We have to. Go. Well, Mike, well, Mike, Mike's different, though, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I'm sure Chad would love to be, Chili's are great, you know, one of my favorite bands. And, and But I I'm, I'm, can't see this band not getting to go out and play this music. We made way, way too serious of a record, you know, to just say, okay, that's a little project. A project really did become a band. And, and it was like Joe said, watching it happen was unbelievable. Yeah. Just sitting there going, what? Wow. This question is directed at Sammy and, and Michael, since obviously you were in Van Halen together. What is it about this band right now that feels different from Van Halen? Well, it feels like it did in the beginning for me. That's when what I, what I was saying for me. It feels, feels just like, the like beginning, this exciting. Feels... Everybody's bringing something to the table that makes it better than even what you thought. You know, I mean, everybody's got chops. We all know, you know, we can all hold our own in our in our arena. Joe, Joe's getting better. Joe, I'm telling you, Joe, would you hear all the yeah. plan on this record? Joe has gotten better if that was possible. <laughs> he just he's playing every damn style of the guitar to its on the highest level on this record. It's like ten records on one, but. The thing is, is that in Van Halen, it was like that. When I joined Van Halen, I thought, oh my God, Eddie's really great. You know, it's like I'm saying that about John. You know, it's like, oh, I know Mike's great. I, I know Chad's great, but I never saw him creative wise. You know, it's like, I'm going, wow, these guys are really great. It makes you want to be better. And you go home and you sit and go, man, I, I'm not going to bring these cheesy ass lyrics in there, man. I'm going, I call up John and I, Joe, what do you think? I'm going, ah, nah, never mind. I, you know, it's it's really, I mean, it made everybody, it made me dig down. How, how do you guys feel that you've, changed or adapted your individual styles to fit each other and fit this band like have you noticed a change in your playing in this band i didn't I joe did you change I, yeah I, yeah i gotta say but <laughs> i'm gonna think about it joe had to step joe to take a couple steps back you know <laughs> Worry, no. well, but, joe, didn't, you know, hey, look, joe didn't get all the whole damn thing they had to make some room for the singer now. <laughs> joe, had to, joe had to adapt to that i didn't have to adapt it. <laughs> well, I'm get, I'm get, I'm getting to i think if there was if there was any adapting it was it was naturally it wasn't like any kind of i mean for me i was so you know just jazz playing with with joe and chad never having played with those guys together that it just made me look at things and and start trying things different than what I've done. But I think it was just like kind of a, just uh, okay, I'm freezing up. Here. <laughs> well, I can tell. No, I it, can tell you. Here's just my my view of it, which is not so much adapting, but how much to, how much can you bring in? You know? Right. It's because we didn't we didn't really have a lot of history together. We were just so excited because every time we got together, it was magic. And so I'd go home and I'd be thinking, man, I, I want to write all this kind of stuff. I wonder if they'll like it, right? And some of the songs, I mean, you go from uh, Get It Up to Sexy Little Thing, I mean, they're so completely different. Right. So, and, and I wrote, you know, three times that much material, I bring it in and, and I get comments from Sam like, I don't sing on songs like that, and Mike's <laughs> like, I don't know about that one, but that one's pretty cool, you know? But to be able to do like Sexy Little Thing, to me meant I could open up, because that's the kind of thing I could never really do as an instrumental artist. But I'm playing that way at home, just dying to have a band right. that would jump all over it and make it a million times better than I ever thought I could do on my own. And that's that's what would happen, as Mike said, we'd start to play, and he'd sing something, and it would be like, that would be it. And it would wind up on the record, and everyone would contribute, and then you, you realize, wow, I can, I can put a Chuck Berry part on, and I can do right. a Keith Richards part here, and I can do, I can sort of grow into these things. And that's, so it, it's a, it's been like a, it's it's like feeling myself sort of unfold a bit and put more into 
my guitar playing than I had before.